Okay, welcome to Wernham Hog Health and Safety Training with Gareth Keenan. Okay, that's me. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. <laughs> there are many hidden dangers in the workspace and today we're going to find out what those dangers are together. Alright, starting off with your work station. Now I want you to imagine that this is a mug of hot coffee. It's not, okay, because that would be dangerous even in the training situation. What we're going to do is play a little fun game that I've made up. All right, I like to have a bit of fun when I'm teaching people. In fact, I like to have a laugh most of the time, in and out of work. In fact, there's a few of us going out tonight. Shall we crack on? Good, keen. Excellent. All right. Now watch where I place this mug in order to simulate where someone might put a mug, you know, in real life. And what I want you to do is shout out, and shout, mind, safe or dangerous. All right? Think you can manage that? <laughs> okay, let's go. Dangerous. First person to shout out the correct answer wins. All right, so if you're ready. Which Shakespeare play features a character called Caliban? Macbeth. Yes. No? Uh, Midsummer Night's Dream. No. Uh, Hamlet. No. Uh, you've had your go. No, you said the first person to shout out the answer wins. You didn't say you only had one no, shout right. at it. The no. Tempest. Tempest, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> right, there he goes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner. That's book. I give you you didn't say you only had one go at it. You said the first person to shout out the answer wins, yeah? The first person. Did that's my point, yeah? <laughs> right, so, landlord of the Lamb Pub in Chichester, yeah? yeah? Challenges me to throw one of these little, you know, copper kettles over his pub, right? So I go outside, take off my tie, tie it to the handle. Did you go over? <laughs> Obviously, yeah. That's actually an official uh, territorial army method, if you're in the jungle. So we wouldn't use a tie, obviously, you'd use vines from the trees. Would you use a kettle? No, but the equivalent. Right. <laughs> Coconut. Free love on the free love freeway, for the love is free and the freeway is long. I've got some hot love on the hot love highway and going home because my baby's gone. She's dead. She's not dead. Long time later, see her. Cowboy crying, he said, hey buddy, what can I do? He says, I lived a good life about a, about a thousand women. I said, well, why the tears? He says, because none of them was you. What, you? No, he's looking at a photograph. Right. Of you? No, of his girlfriend. It, the video would have shown up. Yeah, yeah, he sounds a bit gay at the moment. It's not gay. No. Free love on the free love freeway. The love is free and the freeway is long. David, this is a meeting. Yeah, yeah. OK, that's all. Right, anything else? Um, oh, Teffy phoned from the warehouse. He's got another funny video for you. Thanks. OK. This is just one big boys' club, isn't Not it? Not really, no. Seedy just... little men with seedy little jokes. We've met this lot. Um, Scarth, are you still in the meeting? Formal introductions. Um, Hi, I'm Gareth. Welcome. Just a handshake, that's fine. And Ricky. Hi. Nice to meet you. Even longer. Tim. Hello. Good. OK. Um, settle her in, get her started, show her the phones and everything. But first, me think the lady does need a chair. Sit down, Roger. 
Maybe she should sit down here, then uh, I could okay. teach her the ropes. That's Probably my responsibility as the team there. leader. David, I'm just saying, maybe... <laughs> Gareth, have you got a licence to carry that? <laughs> Portable phone. All right. Can you swap places with Donna, please? No, I'm not moving. Do as you're told. Why, what are you going to do? Phone me. I'm team leader. So immature. Okay. If there's one thing that I am not, really, it is immature. Yeah. Immature, a little tosser. Gareth Keenan. Cock. Uh, so, David, um, I was just saying to Tim. Okay. <laughs> Gun holster. Uh, just my portable telephone. I was just saying to Tim, maybe. It would oh, be good is it? Really? I just thought, sorry. I just thought it. I know what you're thinking. Did I make five or six calls? The question is, do you feel lucky, punk? Well, do ya? Clint Eastwood. Spot on. Let's let him get on with it. Okay. Brilliant. Oh, God, look at that. <laughs> so look. Doink, doink, doink. Uh, exterminate. <laughs> uh, oh, what? No, 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 no. Hello, Austin Powers. I'm a naked mini me. <laughs> Good daughter. Um, Thomas the Tank Engine rolled into town. Dick <laughs> Ringo Starr. Uh, like, whose lines are anyway? Uh, don't grab it unless you've got one ready because it slows it down. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh. <laughs> Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. Remember, you're only as old as a woman you feel. <laughs> I say that sometimes. Yeah, I just ate the other day, and I thought, oh, she's one of my catchphrases. I don't mind influencing the young comedian. You're not a comedian. But, you know, I used to credit somebody if I used their comedy. Well, what ones are yours do I use? Same shit, different day. It's mine. Excuse me, instead of excuse me. Oh, um, thank you very much. Yeah, I invented that one. <laughs> so I had to await or something. Thank you very much, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's one, right? Witnesses that I started this one, right? If someone's um, unlucky, you go, I'm not saying he's unlucky, but if he fell in a barrel full of tits, he'd come up sucking his own thumb. <laughs> Bit not, yeah. So tits? I thought you sucked knobs. Do you? No. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> They're cracking up. <laughs> yeah. Look, Mr. Davis, can I just call you back? Something just come up. Two minutes. Thanks very much. Bye. What are you doing? What? Gareth, what are you doing? I'm just pushing the stuff off my desk. I can't concentrate. Not on your desk? It was. It's all overlapping. It's all coming over the edge here. All right? One word, two syllables. Demarcation. All right? You're a twat, Gareth. You're a twat and a knob end. I'm still not listening, so it's not offending me, sir. Right, OK, so you won't hear this. You had a cock, you had a cock, you had a cock. You had a cock. Oh, careful. Watch this one. Gareth Keenan in the area. You're a new town. Uh, Introduce right. yourself. Good to see you. Um, Gareth Keenan, assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. Gareth's my right hand man, immediately beneath me. Oh, has an actor said to a bishop? <laughs> no, he's not. I'm not. Do you know about your car and your kung fu and everything? Uh, yeah, I've got a TR3. Uh, bought it for 1200. Uh, done it up, now it's worth three grand. Profit on that. Yeah. Yeah. Just a mansion, new engine. Just a wreck. Re I've got some fun. Do it himself. Oh, what is that? Uh, whoa, 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 Dave, whoa, whoa. Right, that is it. Slow down, you move too fast. Solomon's here. All part of the job. What's going on? Put my stapler inside the jelly again. That's the third time he's done it. It wasn't even funny the first time. Why has he done that? Just told him once that I don't like jelly. And trust the way it moves. Yeah, you showed him a weakness. He pounced. You should know about that. Oh, uh, what is in there? It's my stapler. Well, don't do that. Well, eat it out. There's people starving in the world, which I hate. So, and it's a waste. So, how do you know it's yours? Because it's got my name on it in Tipex. Yeah, don't eat it now in chemicals. Right, you can be my witness. Give him an official warning. How do you know it was me? It's always <laughs> you. Can't you, can't you discipline him? Oh, kinky! <laughs> No, the thing about practical jokes is you've got to know when to stop as well as start, and now's the time to stop putting Gareth's personal possessions in jelly, all right? Gareth, it's only a trifling matter. <laughs> Here we go. We're always like this. You oh, should God. put him in custody. <laughs> 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 He's going to fit in here. We're like Vic and Bob, aren't we? And, and one extra one. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm more worried, really, about damage to company property, that's all.
I'm just trying to think of other desserts mm. to do. 